this beautiful truth. that I exist. Everything after that is an impermanent experience. That is why Baba keeps reminding us that know this play of duality. Because experiences are diverse. And so it's living in the midst of the duality of experiences. ups and downs, pleasure and pain, good and bad, highs and lows, this is the extraordinary truth. that the being can remain untouched unscathed And still, experience diversity of experiences, immense diversity. That's what we are here for. This purpose should be very clear. then we can just be.
just being means. I am not associating with any experience. I just am. And that's just being. Just being with Baba. Free to. Know the eternal reality. The changeless reality. Even in the last 10 minutes, so many experiences have come and gone. Very subtle changes have already happened. There's someone who's silently present. Without whom, none of these experiences can be experienced. Knowing oneself as that changeless one. Whilst everything, absolutely everything is changing, moment by moment. And that is why Baba comes to play his part with me personally. So that I can know my stillness yeah. in the midst of all the change. And with all the change within me, that's why Baba is here. No the child. Don't believe yourself to be all this changing activity of your mind and its sounds and its thoughts and its words. 
changing activity of your body. That's not you. Every moment feeling is changing. Mental states are changing. But can you know yourself as that still being? Do you think all this movement is possible without your stillness? Do you think the rainbow can have all the seven colors without the white background? So that's why with Baba I can know my stillness. Because mind is very stimulating. It's got so many images, so many colors, so much movement, so much activity. And then it has body as its partner. coming into action, interactions. So many colorful thoughts, each one painting its own dream world. Highly stimulating. But who am I? that is silently present, always. I am colorless, either being has no color, That's what Baba is saying. You, the being, is silent presence. Your constant silence, your constant peace. There's no variation in you. But within you, There's a lot going on. The being is silent, whereas the scripted mind is filled with stories. Emotions, 
feelings and sensations in the body and hear the soul bodiless soul has no sensations the being has no story No image, no color. Constantly peaceful. Constantly loveful. So for the conditioned mind, it's quite boring. But for the soul that I am, that silent witness, can observe all the different states of conditioned mind. Being needs no color, no image, no sensational story. Needs no sound, soundless. Just pure presence, pure living existence. Life with God. Life of constancy. Whilst aware. the varied experiences of mind and body. Absolutely still and silent, just being. Not associating with any experience, but enabling every experience.
ओम शांति शांति लव बिंग यू हम्म वी नाउ नो व्हाई देयर इज सो मच बैटल इन द माइंड क्लियरली या fighting for the existence of color story variety sounds sounds <laughs> yesterday sound proof and sound less and today was colorless it it gives a good impact all day mm -hmm. definitely it does yeah morning if i have a dose of this nectar of different because mind wants some different you know activities mm -hmm. soul is upram but uh, at least mind is not disturbed in making more sounds and <laughs> soul is sound free so that intoxication you know i'm sound free and today is i was just thinking you said color proof mm -hmm. yeah so many colors and you were saying battle of thoughts yes it's too intense but i'm um, very very peaceful very silent yeah so it needs to be understood very very clearly yeah and sister baba is saying in last 3 two day for a uh, today's blessing in in india like you know we have to reveal baba with our actions mm -hmm. with our purity with our, with our truthfulness mm -hmm. so so more and more i realize i'm sound proof i'm sound free i'm color free i'm thoughtless and i'm om yeah. so i think shanti mate uh, is enjoying my omfulness today yeah. the thought was i'm um, <laughs> less and omfulness very good so we are yeah. going to near near mm -hmm. <laughs> very good very good because we are continuing our murli from yesterday it's very beautiful so i want to continue it that murli date was uh, 27382 so baba was talking about uh, he was telling us what does it mean to be the seed right the form of a seed and he's saying the first thing now when we hear the word experience we have to see it as a knowing okay because we are really twisted in our understanding of an experience when the mind hears the word experience it hears it very differently than what baba is meaning yes i'll maybe replace it with the knowing is that okay okay so the first thing you will know is that whilst walking moving sitting and talking your body which is the main trunk of the tree of accounts from which the branches emerge will be completely separate from you the soul the seed what are the branches emerging from the body tree from the trunk of the body tree all the five senses whatever we think taste everything and three man buddhi sanskar everything very to age sound everything is an experience too yeah very good very good all of these are like trunks a uh, trunk of the tree of accounts is the main trunk is the body baba is saying and many branches emerge from it yeah yeah sensations also emotions thoughts subtle and gross 
some scars, feelings, absolutely everything is emerging. So Baba is saying, will be completely separate from the soul, the seed. You, the soul, will repeatedly and constantly. Now, how do I use the word knowing here? You will know yourself being detached. <laughs> yeah? You will know yourself being detached. Not on the basis of knowledge of the soul, being separate from the body, but you, the soul, are separate from your body. So it's not just a knowledge, it's a knowing. Knowing is different from knowledge, you know that, right? So it's a knowing, which means it's just very obvious. It's just something that's not been taught. It's just something it is. It can't be taught. Yeah? So that's what Baba is saying, that the soul, but you, but that you, the soul, are separate from your body. You will know being completely separate. Just as you know your physical body being completely separate from the clothes that you wear, in the same way, your body is the costume of you, the soul. There should be this clear knowing. I, the soul, am wearing this costume. Whenever you want, adopt the costume of the awareness of the body and whenever you want, be detached from it. That is, stabilize in the stage of detachment from body consciousness. Now we understand what Baba's meaning by detached from the body. <laughs> Very much, sister. It's a whole package of expansion. Every feeling, every irritation, every happiness. And that is my body, actually. I need to be in a second to be detached from this expansion. Yeah. And Baba says, you can be in your own. Yeah. That's a feeling. Absolutely. Very nice. So, and detached from duality too, sister. Detached yeah. from duality. Yeah. Detached from the duality of the mind. Detached from the I sensation. Me, I, I, me, mine. I, All me. the three. Absolutely. Capital, capital I only. Yeah. Home. Yeah, capital I, that, that real I is me. I am and after that, everything else is just an impermanent experience. And everything after that is simply not me. So that's what Baba is saying. That's being detached from the body. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, did you bring Baba? <clears throat> yeah, please carry on. Capital I, so I really salute that soul whosoever shared. It's so beautiful. Thank you, sister. Uh, Didi, when Baba said that uh, you can in a second take the awareness uh, and whenever you want, you come into the awareness of the body. Can you explain this? Uh, you know, taking the awareness, which means that while I'm using the body, uh, I I'm aware of the body. Can you explain this? Is it? You know, what does Baba say means? Yeah. So what Baba means is that when you want, you can be detached means basically knowing that any action that is being done is being done through you, but I'm not the doer of that action. Although you will be coming into doing. So when you're coming into doing, let the doing happen through you because you have to perform certain actions through the day, right? So let that doing happen through you. But the moment doing is done, and even whilst you're doing, can you really remain detached that, yes, doing is happening, but I'm not the doer? Yeah? So doing has to happen. I, Baba is saying you can't forsake actions. Yeah? We have to come into actions. That is very and it also <clears throat> it also means that we have to, while performing the action, we also have to think about those actions. Whatever is necessary. Yeah. You do have to certain times, then actions can be very uh, important to think about, right? Like we always give an example of a surgeon performing a surgery or a lecturer teaching in the class. He has to think about the subject matter that he's teaching, right? Mm -hmm. So he has to be part of, the, he has to take interest, I mean, and be the part of that action very much. But 
at the same time know that is just simply thinking, feeling, acting, moving, all of that is just part of the bodily play. And as soon as it's done, if you can be through the action, that's great. But if not, at least after action, be detached. Know that it was just simply body, mind. I'm not the action of my body. I'm not the thoughts of my mind. Action happened, finished. Now there could be success or there could be failure. There could be comfort. There could be discomfort in your sensations of the body. There could be fatigue or there could be complete freshness from that action. doesn't matter. It, none of that is you. And same same thing belongs to sister board, um, thoughts and feelings as well, right? Because soul... Yeah. Body, that... we are saying, we are saying all. That's what we just said. I don't know if you were hearing or not. No, no, I was hearing, but somehow that came like... We were talking about all body, right? Bodily no, sensations. When we are saying and... body, movement, we even said thinking will be done. I don't know if yeah. you hear. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, you said that, yes. See, sometimes we think, we listen, but we don't listen. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Probably that part got missed. But yeah, somehow at that point, mm -hmm. mind was lost about like, oh, what about, because we always say, right? Soul is the one who's feeling. No, don't worry. That's why Baba is reading us Murli from 90 years because we don't hear everything every time. <laughs> it's all of us, not just you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because we hear some certain things we just don't hear and then one day one fine day it's like day, as I'm listening for the first time <laughs> <laughs> every day that thing has been said <laughs> yes sister so Brahma Baba's listen. time I want to relate one story in this so mm -hmm. Brahma Baba's time two sisters they went to do some work Mm -hmm. And they forgot to, uh, you know, come down from that bus uh, to the station they were, uh, they had to come. And they made an excuse to Baba. Baba, we were so immersed in your love and yad. That's how we did this mistake. Baba said, hello, hello, wake <laughs> up, wake up children. Baba <laughs> did a twist on the ears in a different way. He didn't allow those sisters in the right cl straight way class to the Murli made them stand outside but <laughs> see how how clever sister i'm telling you how clever we are in murli where we reach we are doing the different murlis of our thoughts and mind yeah. but <laughs> but new understanding of this om no what i'm feeling those sisters were involved not in the yad in the body some imaginations only that's how they they, they couldn't get down you know at their proper station and they're telling baba oh baba we were so much must in your yad we were must and we forgot. Baba said, no, child, wake up. Don't make stories. <laughs> so that's how we need to check it. Really, uh, where are we? Exactly, exactly. It is it is like we, when we are really with Baba, there is a 360 degree awareness. Yeah. When we are with Baba, that which is important will never be missed. But yeah, it's okay. I'm sure All are sure. Sorry? Yeah, sister, I, here I want to add one thing. Uh, abhi sister share kar rahi thi. So Baba ne kaha, yadi accurate yaad hoti na, to miss nahi hota vichhi. Bilkul. Aap yaad keh rahe ho, lekin aap accurate yaad nahi thi ho, Baba. Bilkul. Bilkul. Ek aur bhi example, sister ne bola to yaad aage de di. Bhoot, ek bari dadi prakash mani thi, to dudu bol gaya da sara. To, uh, sorry, English, I will talk. The whole milk will come out in the gas or whatever they use at that moment and and dadi prakashmani don't tell her the sister that you have done a wrong thing but she said dood ki nadiyan to satyug mein hogi you <laughs> started from here so mala mala that we should learn from that point is very touching na yeah yeah absolutely absolutely Absolutely. So that's why Baba is saying, that's why Baba has to study, Mur I mean, teach us Murli for how many years now? 90 years. 90 years. Because he knows. <laughs> we all are kind of uh, somewhere lost sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So Baba is saying that uh, you, the soul, 
I, the soul, am wearing this costume. So sometimes I'm wearing the costume, subtle costumes and gross costumes, both the costumes I'm wearing, right? Subtle and gross, both. So whenever you want, adopt the costume of the awareness of the body and whenever you want, be detached from it. That is, stabilize in the stage of detachment from body consciousness. So do you know such detachment? Do you adopt your costume or does the costume adopt you? <laughs> hmm? Do you adopt the costume or does the costume adopt you? You know, Baba sometimes says, no, you wear the dress of sanskaras very tightly. So that means sanskaras have taken over you. Thoughts have taken over you. Now loosen up that dress. How? He gives us another body to see. Even in a visual, Baba is giving the mind a visual. See yourself in that dress of the angelic body or the deity body. In a way, it is, it is a way Baba is loosening up this tight dress of just this body of sanskaras of the old nature. And he's helping us wear the body of the sanskaras of the new nature, our original nature, our eternal nature. So when you see the angelic dress, it's not just a dress of light, it's the dress of sanskaras of the angel. When you're seeing the deity dress, it's not just the dress of some golden costume and colorful costumes, but it is the dress of deity sanskaras. Like sister, yesterday's Murli, uh, Baba said golden chunni is your golden stage. Yes, absolutely. Actually, and we're so happy to wear that golden chunni. Oh, <laughs> we got a golden chunni. It's the within, you know, uh -huh. stage. Yeah, it is the stage. It is the sanskar. And earlier, sister, without this new learning, no, we were very happy to wear that Vishnu dress. Otherwise, also in visualization, but now with a deeper understanding, it's a sanskaras, you know, I see everyone as a soul and no uh, female or male consciousness. Everyone is, I'm so detached from everyone yet loving all. That is being becoming Vishnu dress. Yes. It's sanskara changing, you are saying. So when you are uh, referring sanskar changes means I need to uh, have those elevated sanskars at least to be knowing. You said no, knowing karobi. Absolutely. Okay. So the more okay. I know me as I am, yeah, what is the difference? And why is it important when we come, Baba is giving us all these different beautiful visuals he's painting with the words, right? So that those visuals are really contracted into smaller visuals of just Baba and I and then golden age time period and the angelic time period, right? So then at least mind is not visualizing the scenes of the Iron Age and the bodies of the Iron Age. The mind is visualizing something which is of a more elevated quality. Yeah, this is the way Baba is actually bringing the mind out. And he's created some breathing room for the soul. Even when Baba is asking us in the beginning, concentrate, change one this thought, replace with that thought. Those are all very important stages. They are very important in the beginning because we are so... Baba is, Baba is sister so brilliant. Can't yeah. even understand it. Yeah, really. but because they are so caught up in our mind in the beginning, there is no other way for him. So he has to tell us, okay, this thought comes, child, replace it with this thought. And then when that thought comes, then that thought is not constantly going on for too long. And it's replaced with this thought. It gives me some breathing room. Then I begin to see some window starts to open. And then I begin to see, ah, that's who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Sister, practically now feel so happy after what we have done uh, two, three months past in 20 years in Gyan, but Gyan is not in me at all. Practically 10% iceberg, 90% inside. 10% yeah. we are doing and kitchen and not taking a hearth of anyone lunch and anything. That we are practically, Baba is not seeing that at all. We are doing that only 10% work. 
and uh, i to even took you know when we put in the center the whole we face is decorated with chunni and taraj i still have that photograph one ordinary one this between passport baba stole matlab <laughs> practically the only uh, what the meaning just now came to know what is the deep meaning never in life matlab param dham we go and come back i don't know how to do meditation even yeah not even a one person i know in 20 years telling in instead of all persons i am saying but yeah. i think i know very much that is the matlab well yeah. you said no nothing no everything that is also very good point now That's... i feel different type <laughs> yeah, happy <laughs> exactly exactly and this is why it's important so whatever we have done in the past is also important don't poo poo it no sister i want to tell one thing to every all the souls brilliant souls sitting here believe you me it's a reward of what we had been doing previous time believe you me with the 100% conviction whatever we did that was correct that's why baba has rewarded we stayed so long with baba to get this right now why yeah. not that yeah. was so so beautiful yes you that was a caterpillar true. journey and now we have got the butterflies okay it's okay yes. no that was a butterfly this is yes. all you were all the butterfly yeah but to even know yourself as a butterfly that was also important so that it created some space some room for you to see that yeah so instead of uh, visualizing uh, scenes of battle you are visualizing param dham that's wonderful <laughs> nothing wrong yeah nothing wrong it's all beautiful there comes another time then that there comes baba says just be the observer now yeah then baba says okay now observe your thoughts yeah observe whatever your mind is showing you as a detached observer right then we will be seeing that all so that's okay and it's all not like in a one seamless manner it's all happening sometimes at the same time also yeah and then will come just being and that's om that's i am <laughs> yeah so so we we the beings even when the mind is fighting struggling or sometimes replacing one thought with the other thought from just being you can see all of that you can see all of that function of the mind <laughs> just know you always are you even present silently to the childish mind which is fighting with itself yeah that's okay you're present to it just being yeah so that is why baba is saying that every aspect of your um experience of every moment has been wonderful wonderful means wonderful yeah so that is why now we are just being <laughs> yeah so baba is saying that do you experience such detachment do you adopt your costume or does the costume adopt you which is living who is the master so baba is asking you is the sanskars and the body living or the soul is living <laughs> what is living sister the difference between this as per this soul says uh, you many times told that the point of light have all the pictures inside uh -huh. and this is one side and the other side is i am body and i am visualizing this over point of light body yeah may we are work like this now the visual picture in do doing this yeah that's so the thing is yeah so the thing is i am a being now i know that i'm not even a point the point is also visual my mind has been given by baba so that the mind instead of visualizing rini as me mind is visualizing a point as me <laughs> do you see that how genius our father is <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so that is why the point is what the mind is visualizing as me now 
right? And then Baba says, in that point, there are lots of sanskars, right? And those sanskars are in the form of some sound, some word, some energy, some vibrations. That is all it is. Thought is energy. Thought is vibrations. So it's just recorded in that form. Yeah? And body's blueprint is also in the soul, in the form of sanskars, right? And karma. And then when we come to this physical world, it just manifests. So when the body manifests, then I, the soul, inhabit it. I, the soul, wear this costume. So it's in me and I'm also sitting. I'm not even sitting. I can say I'm using this costume because body itself is really ashes, nothing else. Right? So I'm using this costume. Yeah? So the more I'm just being now, I can now even see the visual of the point on the screen of the mind from the place of being completely imageless. You know, this reminded me, I was just sitting, just sitting on the couch and this image comes that you know how there are two twins. Have you heard that story? Two twins in the womb of the mother? No? Ah, okay. The two twins in the womb of the mother. One twin is constantly complaining. We are in the dark. Don't know what will happen. When will we get out? There's nobody to love us. Nobody to care for us. We don't even know we are having food through this pipe. We don't know who's feeding us and this and that. Yeah. And then the other twin is like, whether we can see or not, we are taken care of by our mother. <laughs> Whether it's dark inside, it doesn't matter. But there is this faith that I'm protected. Yeah? That I'm protected. So there are two twins, two babies in the womb of the mother. And the one both cannot see the mother, but one has a lot of faith being taken, being, I mean, who's being taken care of by the mother, and the other one is constantly doubting. Yeah, And then he says, you don't know, You maybe we will come out and then we will have feet to walk. You know, that's how he's talking in the womb. <laughs> and I'm like, this is what Baba is telling us, you cannot see me. I'm invisible through this mind's eye, conditioned mind's eye. But if you really let go of this mind and you really know me as I am, then you will feel me. You will know me as I am. I, You are with me. You are in my womb. And I'm taking care of you until you make it to golden age and you can walk on your own feet. <laughs> Sister, what was your purpose in relating that beautiful story? I've uh, read it many times. Mm -hmm. But Baba is that intelligent womb, uh, the, the twin, the other one. Absolutely. It is like, you know, the sister asked when we are a point, so everything is yeah. in me and then I'm also in the body, right? But it's like, there's a certain feeling of, is it really there in this little point? Everything is there? Yeah. It is It is a matter of just knowing, yes, you're not that dimension wala hand drawn point. When Baba is saying point, he's just giving you a point, something to for your mind to concentrate on. Right? But you are that infinite presence that can see that point. You may not be visible to the mind's eye, which is conditioned, which is only looking for you in images, but you are there whether you are in a form of an image or not. Whether the mind can visualize you or not, you exist forever. And that was the point of the story. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that is why. Yeah. So you, the being, exist forever. So nothing can change that fact. Whether visual is there or not, whether sound is there or not, whether color is there or not, whether nothing is there or not. Let mind have these visual. It's useful for the mind to chew on it. Let it have that stuff. 
But so there no relation with pituitary gland and whatever. Now I have stopped to, to doing. Even <laughs> I don't even, you know, relate. And even I had been telling, I said, no, that dictionary, I've lost it. I don't know. It's all gone. I can't help it. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. there. You're being of light. That's it. Why yeah. should I tell them it's near oh, pituitary yeah. gland, here, that, nothing. It's all gone. In the beginning, it was needed. Now yeah. it's needed. So we let go of it. Now right. I can't say, no, because that earlier, but now my mind stopped. No, no, you can't use that. It's all gone. Forget it. Yeah. If someone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So see, that's why I'm saying all of those things also have their own purpose. They have their own importance also. Yeah. So the real truth of just being means I value that. I value this. I value everything. Yeah. I value the whole journey of the soul that I am. Yeah? Yeah. That is what Baba is saying. Yeah? So now when I see someone else being in that stage right now, there is no, what are you doing? <laughs> no. We've gone through that. Right now, maybe that's what makes sense to them and that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> hmm? Isn't that fine? That's fine. Super fine, sister. Super Let fine. them enjoy. Yeah. Let them whatever do. What I see, that matters. They have their own, their own aspect of what part they read tonight. Right now, are they ready to understand? And that's wonderful. That's what they need. High dose need they know. <laughs> we are not uh, knowing our tree, but we are disturbing others' tree. Yeah, we are absolutely in with others. Yeah? Exactly. We don't know even what is going inside us. Mm -hmm. Nothing. We are seeing other outside drama whenever exactly. it comes in the morally. And uh, we are not even known of we have inside also one drama. And yeah. we are disturbing others. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Disturbing other brother, sister, give me where to put hand in this. I don't know even. Hand, I, hand. I think you go to here, raise hand. I don't know. I, my hand, I am not seeing <laughs> reactions. I, I, reactions, you can go to the here. section reactions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on reactions. the bottom of the screen, there will be a, a reaction. window called reactions, and you can actually have there. Reaction. Okay. okay, okay. Thank you so much. There's I a smiling want... face with the plus sign. You click. Yes, on reaction that. with plus sign. It is there. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for telling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's important. Like someone told her um, that, sister, you should tell them that. Um, you know that this knowledge that Baba is sharing here. It will really benefit them. Go tell them that. Do you? <laughs> no. No. Baba will get it to whoever he thinks they need it. Yeah? Who am I to interfere in anybody's tree? Am I anyone to interfere in anyone's tree? If it's no. not meant to happen in the drama, it just won't happen. Exactly. And if it's meant to, they'll find it somehow. Yeah. Somehow it'll come to them. Sister, because of our every recording is on new YouTube, so so many very learned people who had done PhD on kind of OM and they were so intrigued. I don't know who sent them these recordings and they made further very beautiful recordings of OM and they said, they say, uh, they told me to share it with Rini's sister also, which I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> so okay. I feel it's, it's you know, it, this is opening up everyone and they were so regardful and, you know, it's reaching everyone. Whosoever has to come, they will come. It's Baba's work. Not us. Not and us. It's very important. It's Baba's yeah. talk. And it's getting to whoever Baba wants. I'm no one to tell anybody, oh, this is right for you. <laughs> who knows what's right for who? God knows <laughs> what's right for who. 
<laughs> not me. So let me not interfere. So I told them to tell them not to do it. Sister, we have a habit. Kira kuch mila hai. You're like, band, ek, there's a saying in Hindi, bandar ko uh, haldi mil gi, usa socha wo pansari hai. So here, at least let me benefit myself fully. It will go wheresoever it needs to go. I don't need myself. I am, you know, already, I have 100% karma teeth already. It's a journey. Let me learn. Let me be sarup of it. Then yeah. it will resonate on its own. Yeah. Right thing will come to you at the right time. Know this fact about the drama. Drama is working for you, with you. Drama is happening for you. It's really with you. It's not happening to you. Repeat it, sister, please. Please repeat drama, it. A little slow. Drama is happening life and drama is happening for you, for your sake. So if somebody is really being hard in, your, in the part that you're playing and their part is really to thrash you and really give you a hard time, it is for you. You know, I really personally find that however this part was, father's part was very strict with Rini part, right? Because Rini part was very lazy. So the father part was very, very strict with this one's part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I cannot tell you how much I feel gratitude for that soul's part, the way it folded, because it really helped me to be, even as a person, the way I am today. As Baba says in today's Murli, um, is, is not exactly what you're saying, but related to if you don't have any obstacle, how you will get the title of the destroyer of the obstacles? Absolutely. Obviously, you have to go through those experiences and then you understand. Absolutely. I mean, it's everything is happening for you. The attitude in your drama will shift. Your internal world also is happening for you. Whatever your emotional state right now in your mind is, your mental state is also happening for you. Consistent today's Murli Baba was, because this one, like today's the Super Bowl party in this house, Baba's home here. So was cooking food for 20 some people. <clears throat> so there was tiredness. So then it was just came in Murli today, you know, don't complain when you're tired, you know, you, your face get wilted and all that stuff. And I'm like, Baba, I was tired because I was saying it. Baba, I was tired. I'm tired today. <laughs> Don't want to do it anymore if you want Baba, your children to come to this house. So I was cooking in Baba's remembrance for a while, was feeling Baba and I cooking together and doing everything. But later, I think Niru was doing cooking. There was, you know, other things also being cooked. Uh, mm -hmm. in the house so I was kind of thinking Baba today you're saying you can be looking tired you know if the devotees it's go they don't see that yeah. so how is it in practical life that we actually are keep up with the energy of the body you know very when good, very good question I am is a separate being that you are tiredness is an experience we are not denying it we are not suppressing it we are acknowledging the fatigue of the body. The body sensations, tiredness is nothing but just another sensation in the body. I am. That's it. Don't associate tiredness as your self. It's an experience within you. True. But later it was uh, coming when it sat down by the end of the day. Then it was trying to separate. But there was a point. There was maybe an hour or so where it was... Mm -hmm. taking over because it was standing for a long time yeah but then it what started that, feeling that thought took over more than the body sensations and fatigue yeah. do you see that that's the costume the subtle costume that i wore that became a tight costume correct yeah instead it could it could be you can see it this way now in this perspective yes baba I and I and you together, and I see the fatigue of the body appearing in front of me. And I can experience that fatigue of the body 
with you. So are you experiencing this fatigue sensations of the body with me, Baba? <laughs> Make him your partner, no? <laughs> he's your partner. So he's your partner even in experiences with you. Yeah, when cooking with Baba, that time it happened, but later I think, uh, not think. No, yeah. Just the it thoughts. Was, oh, it was, yeah, more the thoughts took over. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So we can sort of give the rest to the body. It doesn't mean that I'm not giving rest, but there is not that identification with that fatigue of the body because I am tired, nahi. I am, that's it, full stop. After that, an experience, an impermanent experience that comes after it. In this case, it was fatigue. In another case, it could be, I will know, doesn't matter, when will I get there? It could be something else after I, right? But you, the I, don't associate yourself with any experience. Yeah. Be a foreign to the tired means you don't know the definition of tired. Huh? <laughs> the tiredness is just a sensation, a change of sensation in the body. That is all actually it is. But our mind has learned a language, I am tired. In a way, that means, oh, now emotions and feelings and everything as a part of that package is there. Become embodiment of the tired. Yeah, because in the you start feeling pressure, people are coming, you know, this, that, or d'oeuvres, and you're cooking, cleaning, putting, laying out, whatever gross stuff. But yeah. it is true. You yeah. become that. Yeah, you become that oh. action. You become that thought. And Baba is saying, no, you are just I am. And after that, it's all just impermanent actions, impermanent feelings, impermanent thoughts, impermanent emotions, and impermanent experience. Baba has such beautiful way to explain. If you want to come, somebody comes to your non-living idol, they're not going to see the tired face. <laughs> the <laughs> droop face. Yeah. I don't want to see it. People don't want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Such a beautiful way to put it Neuro sister, bravo. At least you could, you know, check on yourself. You can't even make a wild face because they are seeing a Dashniya Murat, Vardani <laughs> Murat face. It's it's very so sister Dini, we can relate it when I'm not feeling well. This one though has got uh, countless stories. Then also I can feel I am Baba. That's it. I am in Baba. And then there's a feeling of not feeling too well as a sensation in the body and the mind which is an impermanent experience, right? It's not going to stay like that forever. Even in that, even if the disease doesn't get well, the disease itself then has a variation of intensity. <laughs> Does that make sense? So that experience will not ever be the same. The experience will continue to be different. Yeah? But you are not that experience. You are just I am. Just be. That's what it means to just be. You know, because somebody was asking, what do you mean by just be? How do I just be? <laughs> they were asking, how do I just be, sister? I said, just be means I am, which is not associating with any experience that comes after it. Sister Indu has raised her hand now. Now she pressed the reaction uh, but button. But <laughs> Didi, uh, just, uh, just one thing. Uh, when we are thinking, when there is some story that going on, at that mm -hmm. time we are wearing that costume. So at that time also, uh, so can I say that I'm wearing that costume or I'm just be? See, then you're the observer. Either you're the observer of that thinking you are the no. How can I be? How can be? I am I, 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 the observer. Like for example, if I am in a story, I am in this. I am thinking that. Then I can't be an observer, right? I am never thinking. I am always the observer of thinking. Yeah. So we can say awareness, awareness, yes. and thinking. Uh, separate. Yeah. Yeah, but if I am thinking, if for example, if there is a story going on in my mind. The moment I become aware about it, that story stops. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. So when I am... Not necessarily. But yeah, you're right. Okay. What you're saying is in the second, you can say second phase of meditation from 
concentration and hard effort, which is also important in the beginning. The second stage you can say is that of just, you can say second subtlety. The subtlety is I'm the observer of my thoughts, right? Then in that second stage, you are either observing the thought or you're becoming the thought. Right, right. Yeah? That's what exactly, yes. And the third subtlety is just being. When you begin to see that this experiences are constantly changing, but I, the being, am forever just the changeless presence in front of me, all these things are happening. That is the third level of the middle, the, the subtlest aspect of the practice, I mean, practice meaning of attention. If, for example, yesterday I had this situation and, and I could, and I just sit and I could see that the same old sanskars is happening. My body is feeling palpitations. My voice is breaking. And I could also laughing. I'm also laughing because I could see with Baba that, I mean, I could see all those emotions happening. And I am not resisting it at all. But mm -hmm. in that, I I could feel that some some words also came. Yeah. Some words also came out. So mm -hmm. maybe if I would have resisted, I might would have stopped uh, those. Because I was just watching it. I am very aware. I'm laughing also. I'm literally laughing, seeing all that. But those, I can't stop it. I can't stop my palpitations. I can't change my voice. It all is happening. It will create further battle. If you stop it, right? So just observe. Yeah. And observe it. And yes, the second subtlety stage is that you will observe and then it will stop. And then again, you'll be immersed for some time. And then yeah. again, you will st step back. You will observe. And it will stop. And that will also go on for some time. Yeah. And the third is, you, you, as you're doing this, all these are very important stages of subtlety. Yeah. Then the third stage is that you will begin to realize very quickly. I mean, not very quickly, wrong words. You will begin to realize as it the, it matures, you will start seeing that I, the being, am silently aware and this mind activity, body activity, sensations, they are constantly changing. But I am the one who's never changing. So my stillness, my silence, the silence and stillness that I am, that soundlessness, that colorlessness, that stability of who I am is always feeling the most natural state to be in. And that is what Baba says, that And again, this is not seamless. If this is there, then that is not there. Sometimes you will step back into the number two <laughs> stage also. And sometimes number one also. The very beginning stage where your mind will start to change thoughts, replace thoughts with a thought, which is all fine. But just know more and more just being means you are simply the observer of all of this game going on in your mind and body. Yeah, and that's okay. That is why just being very contented with wherever your mind and body's practice is. Being that contentment that you are is just being. Then you're actually we coming all, <clears throat> for who you are. All this have made us so busy that, you know, I don't even see what is happening outside. I mean, I don't even remember what is every, the inner world has taken over completely. The soul has become introverted, probably more so, <laughs> right? And that is very essential. Only an introverted soul can truly understand Baba's Gyan. Yeah, whose interest is in the outside world cannot understand. So our detachment is not from outside world. Our detachment is from the inside world. Yeah. And again, it's nothing wrong with detachment because a brother called me up this morning and he said, so I'm detaching from the outside world. Also now I have to detach from the inside world. I said, it's too much. I can't do both at the same time. <laughs> 
And I said, you don't have to do both at the same time. <laughs> you just have to, don't worry about the outside world. We know it's all just dead world. We know there's nothing living out there. Just be aware, what are the, how's your mind reacting to the outside world? There, that is where you really have power. Yeah? Because outside scenes you can't change. But you can really be the observer of your internal reactions and not come into action with that. <laughs> Even the inside reactions, we can't change these. Uh, I've can't just change. seen this. We can can't change. We can transcend. Yeah. They are so intense, we can't change, we can't fight. Like Don't even try to fight. You will only get further sucked into it. Just be who you are and just being in your silent presence, that, that will purify the mind. That will purify the reactions. Purify means that will keep merging it, merging it, merging it, merging it, merging it. Just your silent presence. Yeah. So that is what Baba really wants us to know. I really like this example of the moon, no? the moon and its reflection in the water. We all have seen that, right? Everyone here has seen that image. Beautiful image. Moon is constantly mm, <laughs> like this. <laughs> Giving some different image only of the moon, beautiful moon in the sky. <laughs> right? This is our sanskars and our thoughts constantly like this. Mental states are constantly like this. It's not giving you the true reflection of who you are. So don't try to know yourself through your mind, but you will use your mind to combine and connect with God. But you're not using your mind to know yourself. No. So, sister, beautiful moon is me and yeah. my shadow in the water. That's all my distorted perceptions of uh, I and my mind and my stories. Yeah, my mind that has a distorted perception of me. So beautiful. Yeah. When you showed us before that picture, I could not understand its depth. Um, Today I'm relating. First I thought, you know, it's somewhere other story. If I see moon like that, yeah. I didn't know I was that moon. And now I'm realizing. Yeah, you are that moon. So beautiful. Yeah. Moon in the sky. Yeah. Baba's chant ka tukra. And Baba ka chant ka tukra. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Nero sister. So beautiful. Yeah, that's what Baba says to you and everyone. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Sister Indu, you want to say something? And then we can go to the second sign or experience. Yes, since you've learned to raise your hand. Yes. <laughs> just one minute only. Just I check, I can raise it. Well, that is also one point. Ah, okay. <laughs> it is okay now. Uh, yes. Sister, I want to say just, well, I am just, one sister is sharing the tiredness regarding something story. Mm -hmm. I also, yesterday, well, I at that moment, I am tired. I use this word always, no? Mm -hmm. I am tired. I am tired. Now, and uh, yesterday, Murli, Sunday, Murli Baba also told na, when your face is different at that moment, some of the devotee will come and take photographs, <laughs> but we give at that moment. So that link is, <laughs> I like. Well, at that moment, if I remind myself or anyone who is so ever tired, well, your bhakti is coming to you to take uh, <laughs> And everything and we are the subtle meaning of it. Do you know what is the subtle meaning of it? Sister, I don't know. You have to tell and moon That's... story. I don't know. Moon also I have not seen in your picture. Oh, okay. One day we will show moon also. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That day too. We moon also. Our hand raise out where the same again. I will go. But yeah. I want to do again. You have to back. press that again. Yeah. You have to press that again. Thank you so much. Thank you. All the stories listening yeah. and doing. Thank no, so when Baba means that it is like when the Bhakt is taking a picture of you and you're just saying, I am tired and the Bhakt comes and takes a picture of you. Subtly what it means is that even if somebody is remembering you at that time, what are they going to catch from you? 
Is somebody? Didi, I feel pressure, pressure when Baba says all this. Now I'm like, <laughs> you feel pressure when Baba of... says that. Ah, because <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. It can be seen as a pressure. No, very true. If it's heard by the conditioned mind, it can be seen as, oh my God, I have to be happy all the time. There's too much pressure to be happy all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sister, I can't understand the question. Please repeat. So Sister Aneya is saying that when Baba speaks like that, she actually feels pressure. So I can really actually see now why she's saying that. Because if it's really heard by the conditioned mind, then the mind will feel the pressure of being happy all the time. That, Sister, oh my what God. is the question, please? I can't understand. My mobile turned out here and there. Ah. What is the no, question but, I uh, the thing is when you said that Baba will, Baba said that if you are tired or if you are not feeling cheerful, then somebody can, some bhakt of you can take your picture, right? So Sister Neha is saying when Baba talks like this, she feels the pressure <laughs> of needing to be happy and cheerful outside all the time. Very true. Very true. But Baba's meaning is not that. Baba's meaning is just know that you are, regardless, whatever you are experiencing in your mind, know your truth that you are beyond the happiness and the sadness of your mind. And you're not wearing the costume of either the temporary happiness, neither the costume of the temporary sadness. So when you're not wearing that costume, you are in your eternal original nature then anybody who remembers they will get connected to your pure mind baba's pure mind right they're not getting connected to the conditioned mind which has got duality in it but they're getting connected to you the soul and your pure mind true that is what actually baba means that is why this is very subtle Please explain again. Okay. I couldn't understand. So let's say I am here right now, I the soul, and I see my mind is really feeling very disturbed. Let's say my mind is feeling very sad about something. Oh, I planned it this way. Why did it not go this way? Something, something. <laughs> and there's another thought which is saying, it's okay now. Baba said it's all drama. It's all perfect. Don't worry. Both these thoughts are going on in my mind. Yeah? Now, somebody, let's say in India or somewhere here, your daughter, your whoever knows your part, they remember you for some reason. Yeah? They remember. Uh, what would Rini must be doing? You know, like sometimes your family also sometimes says that, you know, now when we feel very hard times, we remember you. When we see you, then we see what would you say? So if they are remembering you <laughs> and then you are with Baba and you're seeing that the disturbance of your mind is not you. Your mind is sad, your mind is happy, whatever it's trying to correct the other thought, whatever the mind game is going on, I have no interest. I'm with Baba and I'm enjoying my truth with Baba. And Baba's taking care of the mind. I'm just using Baba's mind and Baba's pure feelings. And I'm just saying, okay, whatever this game is going on, I'm the observer with you. I'm just being who I am. Now they remember Rini. They remember Rini only. Yeah? But they are getting connected to the soul that I am and my pure mind. Okay. Telepathic connection. But if I'm identified with that dual mind as me, I'm sad, but I'm happy, but I don't want to be sad. When will this sadness go? And I'm one with it. These many thoughts can still come and I can still be detached. But if I'm, let's say, immersed in being those thoughts and then somebody remembers me at that time, what are they catching? Because I'm embodiment of that impure mind. No? So they're catching those impure vibrations. 
once you said that uh, at that moment when we are combined with baba and as a detached observer seeing those thoughts the other soul is remembering our part they will be connected to baba also right like yeah. that yeah absolutely god's mm-hmm. mind pure mind whatever you want to use first they will not because i'm detached from the impure mind so they will get connected to the pure mind pure mind of god so they will receive everything from baba and they will receive everything through you from baba you the soul that is how you are becoming a devotee and a deity in that sense yeah so through you baba is making you a channel and then through you they will receive baba's strength and baba's power this is so the is meaning udhar used to udhar more मीनिंग this is the meaning we are in the game of experiences of duality right now and confluence age is very much the helm of it all at the at the top helm of it all thank you sister <laughs> thank you so much yeah it's really that simple just don't def- identify yourself with the mind be use god's mind we don't have a choice of using this other mind use god's mind then everybody will get connected to his mind oh, the baba sometimes say about jad chitra tumhare jad chitra mm-hmm. yeah that is when you will be worshiped in copper age no for that yeah so we have to be constantly with baba all the time yeah and we want to be right the soul wants yeah, to be want to be yeah, yeah we want to be yeah and even if there is like moments you're getting caught up and immersed don't worry about it how you step out of it is also a stepping out like a deity gracefully it doesn't matter happened happened i am still the same <laughs> no pressure ye ye atma to pressure leke kaam kar hi nahi sakti hai no tension no pressure right it's just ab to ab to hum bhi pressure free ho gaye ah bil pressure free ho gaye anybody connects to me they will get connected to god's mind and they will only feel ease and they will only feel relaxation and carefree emperor <laughs> really no carelessness but carefree emperor sister please answer my question if i am absolute in truth like you are like i'm asking about about you are in your absolute truth so acquaintance like those who know you they'll be benefited or any any soul on any corner any of the world soul, will be benefited any soul who's ready to catch those vibrations baba says in murli you know you are the reason of serving the whole and you are the reason of downgrading everyone yeah. it's that it if is. i myself lost in my feelings or pains or thinking about others i'm doing a lot of uh, disservice yes no no don't think like that okay oh, right. like thank, that. You. thank you just then it's okay then it's okay then i'm you know kind of uh, take too much pressure uh, on again us. again pressure did <laughs> yeah no, yeah pressure sorry sorry yeah? just no just know that moments that we forget not forget moments we are immersed you know now i'm trying to even refrain from the word sleeping and forget and all just using the word immersed or not immersed all right so when we are immersed there's not much that can be done so it's okay but the moment you realize you were immersed just it's like a tv a mind tv going on your attention is from here to there how long did it take for you you're not inside the tv that takes time for you you're not okay, in like the hair from the butter baba says makhan se baal nikal do turant jisse kuch hua hi nahi oh baba i was immersed in the movie of my mind i just turned my attention to you 
<laughs> that's it keep it simple keep it easy keep it very happy <laughs> hmm? okay. no burden thank you okay, shanti Om Shanti. Uh, just in uh, regard to what you're saying right now, wanted to share something. So yesterday, this one was in a, there was a doctor's conference here. So mm -hmm. was there and there, uh, so was playing a part of a psychotherapist. He gave this very beautiful technique. So he played a game with everybody. Mm -hmm. He made one person come on the stage and he said, just say a few sentences. Say anything randomly that comes to your mind. And that person started speaking. The minute he would speak, he would say, Baba. And the rule was, if I say, when I say Baba, you have to stop. Then you have to say another sentence. You can't continue the same sentence. Yeah. So he kept doing like that. Every time he would say, and he would say, Baba. Then he would stop. Then a new sentence, again, Baba. Mm -hmm. Again, stop. Again, a new sentence, Baba. So what was happening is every time he was trying to say something, Baba was Cutting it there. I mean, the, the word Baba was like a break. Like, you know, what Baba says that, you know, put a break. Mm -hmm. So this was such a beautiful technique because now that either being known that no thought, no feeling, no emotion that's coming is me. And mm -hmm. like what you were just not saying, Baba, you know, I just got immersed, but this is not me. So, yeah. you know, this was such a beautiful technique that just Baba, you know, yeah. whatever is coming, like what Sister Neha just said. <clears throat> that this feeling got pressure, you know, this jo chal raha tha, to pressure. So immediately pressure, mujhe to nahi ho raha. like the minute you say Baba, you immediately you realize, oh, this pressure is not me. Yeah. Okay, it's just my mind speaking. So it yeah. is such a powerful breaking technique, just mm -hmm. the word Baba. Yeah. So it was a very beautiful thing uh, that this one came across yesterday. So I just thought that. And it was in context to what was being said. So, and also used this, uh, implemented this immediately yesterday itself while I was coming back from mm -hmm. the conference. While sitting in the car and the body was feeling very nauseatic. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the um, sensations were like quite overpowering. Mm -hmm. But the minute and immediately like this technique kind of came and, you know, and the mind was also speaking few things that, you know, feeling discomfort. When will I reach Baba? I just want to reach, you know, early, uh, early. Wo mind bhi Baba ka naam leke bahut kuch bolte rata hai. So immediately this Baba technique came. And I'm like, okay, Baba, <laughs> nor yeah. is this thought me and nor is this sensation me, nothing. So then yeah. it's just me and Baba. So really, it's, uh, at least for this one, it really helps the thought of sharing this no, Baba no, it's technique. Everybody <laughs> should share their whatever helps them, you know. It's absolutely like that. No, your attention is moving away from the mind screen to Baba. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. All it is. Yeah. yeah. So you're not immersed because you're never sleeping. The soul never sleeps. This one uh, was talking to somebody and they said, then the, how, how does the soul sleep? And then it struck me that soul actually never sleeps. Soul is just immersed. Soul's attention is either immersed in the mind or soul's attention is just immersed in Baba. That is all it is. So it's not I'm forgetting or I'm sleeping. No. Immersed. So just Baba. So it's right, right. No, it's very nice that you just turn attention from mind to Baba. That's all. Sister Rene, can you simplify what Sister shared? It was not clear what she was speaking. Can you simplify yeah. this technique she, she shared? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's sharing something similar, right? You know, she's saying she went to doctor's conference yesterday and there some doctor had some playing some games. So so whatever uh, they would had, they would had to share one thing that was on the top of their mind. So she said, Baba, right? And now everything the doctor was saying, you had to just stop him with ba word Baba, right? And something very similar that we are doing, uh, Baba is asking us is that, you know, your attention is immersed in the thinking of your mind and she's sharing her experience.